this is a YouTuber's life. Seriously, the lights burn the fuck out of you. Whew. I really want to apologize because I did not film those two days. Like I said, I did not have AC, so it was really hard for me to film. But I am back, so yeah. This video should be going up Monday afternoon, so you guys have three days to enter the giveaway. Um, the giveaway ends Wednesday, July 26th. I am going to be giving away a Yes Please palette by ColourPop. As you guys know, it's in my opinion, it is a it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona $250 palette. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Go follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I'm over there. As well as Snapchat. I have everything listed down below in the description box. And with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started. All right guys, so I already have my eyes primed and I have the rest of my face completely done just because, you know, you guys already know the drill with that. You guys already know how I apply foundation, how I contour, highlight, and all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna jump right into the eyes. And like I mentioned, we are going to be using the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these shades look like. This is what these shades look like. As you can see, they're extremely beautiful. They're my type of shades. It has this, this yellow here is like screaming my name. This is, in my opinion, a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. So if you're like myself and you cannot afford that $200 palette, then I feel like you need this baby in your life because it's the exact same thing. And in my opinion, they are extremely pigmented. I was very, very surprised with um, the quality of these shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and start off and I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is like a very bone matte shade. And I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Shade I'm going to be taking is, where are you? Woo. The next shade I'm going to be taking in the palette is this shade right here. And I'm going to use this as a transition color all over my crease. Not that one. This one. Sorry. I'm looking at the monitor. I am filming with like a whole new setup here. So it's kind of very difficult to get used to looking at the camera. Because before I would look at the viewfinder that I have next to the camera. Now I actually have an actual monitor here that I can look at you guys. Well, me. Duh look at me so it's kind of like weird so yeah and I'm gonna take that shade and I'm just going to pop it all over my crease area and I'm gonna bring it a little bit higher just like this and I'm just gonna do windshield wiper motions and kind of bring it inward you don't really have to be perfect with this you kind of have to be messy just to kind of give it that um, definition to the crease I'm going to take a much more smaller packing brush, well like a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take this shade right here which is like a chocolatey brown shade and it is stunning you guys. If you, I don't, I obviously do not have the Natasha, the Natasha Denona palette so I can kind of show you guys both palettes and swatches of both. I do not have it, I'm not going to buy it, it's $200, no. I believe it's over $200. Obviously, I don't have the money to be spending on that palette when this one, it's the exact same thing. So, if you guys want to see a video of both palettes, just so you guys can see um, the similarities on both, I'm going to leave Jack... Um, I'm going to be leaving Kathleen Light's video down below. She does have a review on both of them and she does swatch both of them. So you guys can kind of see that the colors are the exactly the same thing. But as for now, I'm going to take that chocolate color and focus it on my outer V of my eye just like this. First, I'm going to pack it where I would want it packed. Just like this. I'm just going to pack that shade. And I'm actually going to be very generous with it. Once I have the shade well packed, I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend the outer V of my eye just to kind of get rid of any harsh lines and kind of make the colors look well blended. I'm 
just going to keep packing that brown shade until I get the intensity that I want on my crease area. Now I'm just going to go take a very fluffy brush as you guys can see and I am just going to blend the outer V and kind of make that color look well blended. I don't want any harsh lines in that outer V as you can see. Ooh, it looks extremely beautiful. Now I am just going to be removing the tape. Now I'm just going to be removing the tape and blend it outwards. I want it a little bit messy, a little bit smoky. So I'm going to blend it outwards because as you can see the tape kind of gives you that very really harsh line. So unless like the reason why I put tape on is because I had already done my face and I didn't want the fallout to go all over my face. But now I'm just going to blend whatever is left on my eyes and kind of give it that effect of a very smoky and just very, I don't want it, how can I say it? I want this look to look messy, but at the same time to look well put together. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. You guys always know what I mean. I was looking through my videos, through like my old videos, and I was like, damn, like I always ask them if they know what I mean, and at home they're probably like, what is this bitch talking about? Like, I know you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this brown color because I'm digging the smokiness and the blendability that these shadows are giving me. It's live. Now I'm gonna take any packing brush. I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus, Mario Badescu, whatever the fuck you have at home. Um, and I'm going to take this yellow shade right here which is absolutely stunning. It screams my name. Look at this yellow. Holy crap. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I wanted the Natasha Denona because of the yellow that it has. Oh, it just looks amazing. And I'm going to pick up a good amount of product as you can see. And I am just going to pack it in the inner corner of my eye. I was going to carve out my crease with concealer just so you guys can see um, how bright the yellow stands out but I actually did this look last week I did it twice I did it with concealer and I did it without concealer and I find that even without concealer um, the shadow was very very pigmented so I was like holy crap I need to show them without concealer how yellow this yellow is <laughs> is that even did that even make sense how yellow this yellow is yeah but look at this yellow you guys all you have to do is spritz your brush and that's it. And you will get this yellow. Yellow. Woo! Look at that. Now I'm just going to go back in with my brush. And I'm going to take this shade right here. Back in with the brown shade. And I'm going to mix the brown in with my... Um, no, what is that? In with this shade right here. Which is what I used as my transition color and I'm just going to deepen up the outer V of my eye. You can leave the look like this but since I want to be a little bit extra I'm going to take another a packing brush. I'm going to spray some Mario Badescu and I'm going to be taking, which one should I take? Holy crap. I'm going to take this shimmery shade right here just so you guys can see how beautiful this is and I'm going to holy crap look at the pigment on this one I'm just going to pack it in the center of the lead. Take this shade right here and I'm going to start packing that um, on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is the brown, the star of the show. I'm going to pack it on my outer V as well. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to put some on my waterline. I'm going to be taking my NYX Glitter Glue. I'm going to take a tiny bit. I'm going to pop it right here in the middle. I'm going to be a little extra because you guys know me. Now I'm going to take the pigment in the shade 07 by NYX. 
Okay, this was a bad idea. This pigment is, looks green on me. I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash and I'm going to put some on my bottom lashes. Right? And I already applied mascara and I think um, this is it. I think I'm done. It wasn't nothing crazy, nothing dramatic, just something very summer and glowy. Although you can apply false lashes if you want. If you're all about that false lash life, then go ahead and put some falsies on. I was going to put some falsies on, but I think I'm kind of digging the mascara. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I wish you guys could like talk to me, you know what I mean? So this was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Giveaway part of this video, all you have to do is be subscribed to my website and I will have the link down below as well as follow me here on YouTube. So, um, comment on the YouTube video that you know you participated as well as tag one friend on my Instagram picture, I have everything listed down below in case you forget the rules or in case you do not know my Instagram. Everything is going to be in the description box, so make sure to check it out if you want to participate. The giveaway does end July 26th, I believe. Yeah, the giveaway ends July 26th, so you have three days to participate. It's a very short amount of time. I really want to ship out the palette as soon as I pick a winner, just because the palette at the moment is out of stock. Um, it is a very popular palette, so I'm excited to be giving one of these to you guys. And stay tuned because I'm also going to be giving away a Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future giveaways. As well as give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.